On this channel, we have covered different ranges of code interpreters from ChatGPT's code interpreter as well as GPT Code UI, where both apps were useful in helping you code out different types of tasks. Today, I bring forward another code interpreter in which it is open source and focuses on complex tasks, and it's called Open Interpreter. With Open Interpreter, you can let the language model run code on your computer to fully code out apps, tasks, and much more. It is open source, it runs locally, and it is the implementation of OpenAI's code interpreter. It lets you run GPT-4, as well as many other models which they plan on introducing to run code from languages like Python, JavaScript, Shell, and much more locally. You can chat with Open Interpreter through a ChatGPT-like interface in your terminal, and it basically lets you work on different types of tasks that you give it. Now, you are enabled to do much more with this code interpreter as you are able to provide the natural language interface on your computer to control and write code, create and edit photos, videos, PDFs, and other files. You are able to control the web browser to perform web searches as well as using the code interpreter to search through different areas on the web to implement as well as provide you the links that are necessary to complete your task. Now you're able to also plot, clean, and analyze large data sets and so much more which we'll take a look at throughout today's video. I'll be showcasing as to how you can access open code interpreter as well as basically installing it on your desktop. You can actually access this on the Google Cloud and this is something that we'll take a look at throughout today's video. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching, but let's get right into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. As we talked about at the start, we're going to be taking a look at Code Interpreter, which is an innovative approach to code interpretation by evolving as well as allowing language models to execute code directly off your computer. Now, there's two ways to handle and basically access Code Interpreter. You can do it through Google Colab or install it locally. Now, I'm going to be showcasing the Google Colab method a little while later into the video, but firstly, we're going to take a look at how you can install it locally. So first things first, you're going to need to make sure that you have git this is an application that will help you clone the repository onto your desktop secondly you will need python this is going to be used to implement the code language that we want the code interpreter to work with lastly we'll need visual studio code which is going to be used to input the api key and lastly sorry not this was not last method but this is the last method and this is where you're going to be needing an api key from open ai so once you have these four things ready we'll get to the next step where we'll start installing this now what you need to do first is go onto the repository which i'll leave all the links in the description below now what you need to do first is click on the screen button copy the repository link scroll down a little bit open up command prompt and what you need to do is type in git clone and paste the link now once you have done that click enter now what you need to do next is copy this code to have this opened up and once this has finished cloning we'll get to the next step where we'll go into the folder and start installing the different types of things that are needed for this application now once it has finished cloning you can just copy this code again which you already did paste it and what before you actually do that you need to go back Type in cd and then go into the open interpreter file, which is open interpreter. Once you're here, paste this code pip install open interpreter, which will now start installing the requirements of this package. Now this might take a couple minutes, but once this is done, I'll be right back. If you guys would like to access our private discord where you can get amazing networking opportunities, giveaways, and so much more, definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you guys haven't followed World of AI, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI content. So with that thought, let's get right back into the video. Now guys, what you need to do next is once it has finished installing, copy this interpreter command and paste it into command prompt. Now I did this and it opened up the ui and you're basically ready to start utilizing this as you can utilize gpt4 which is recommended or you can utilize code llama which is free and if you do not want to utilize gpt4 you can just click enter but in this case you can upload your api key over here so you want to create a key copy this key 
go back into command prompt or visual studio code now i prefer visual studio code most of the times but in this case uh we're not going to be utilizing it but uh you can run it this basic application off of command prompt as well as off of visual studio code now in this case it has i inputted my api key by clicking enter and it says to save this key for later run export open api open ai api key equals your api key and on linux you can do set or on uh, windows sorry you can do set x open api key and then input your api key now to run locally use interpreter locally so then now you can press enter this command so open ai will require approval before running the code so use this command over here so now i'll type in interpreter dash y and click enter now once this is done it'll start approving and we're going to be able to start running gpt4 so we can see it asks hello how can i assist you today uh, i'm going to just write it something basic write me a code for a snakes and ladder game now if you've seen my previous videos i always start off with this as it's a great prompt for any sort of code related application to generate certain types of code for as it's a good benchmark to like assess how this type of like application is able to generate a code for certain types of content that you give it now let's see if it's able to generate this as we go forward now we can see that it gives you a text-based plan as to what it's going to do so we can see that it defines the game board which is the first step that it did and if you wanted to run the code you can just click yes so in this case i want to click yes as we're going to see what it's actually able to do and now that the core game board is designed if you did not like this definition of the game board you can obviously tweak it and say no and then ask it to rewrite it in a certain type of method that you would want it now we can see that next it's going to then define the player positions and for this example let's assume that we have two players player one and player two now if you agree with this you can click yes and click enter so one great thing about this is that it keeps on asking you what it wants you to like review over and if you do approve it then you can just continue forward but say if you do not want it to have two players but you want it to have four players then you can click no and then tell it that i want it to have only four players not two players so once this has fully generated i'm going to showcase an example where i actually click no so that you can get a good idea as to how you can tweak and add certain types of prompts to your original prompt so if you see over here i actually added four players now because i said would you like to run this code now I said no and I inputted I want four, to add four more players so in this case we have four now and then you can click enter and it'll then resume to whatever it was focusing on previously so this is such an easy way for you to basically generate code and work alongside with the AI to generate certain types of things that you wanted to achieve so like we've seen with many other code projects or code planning projects it basically generates the whole project all at once but in this case you're working alongside with the ai to create and generate certain types of apps different types of tasks and so much more now this is just one little example as to what you can do as there's so many different types of capabilities that this open interpreter is actually able to do in which you can convert pdf files edit certain types of things uh, search the web and it's basically like an assistant for you to develop different types of tasks that you give it so definitely want you to check this out and play around with it on your local host now if you guys do not want to install this on your local host you're actually able to install it off of google collab which is something that i'll showcase in the next step of the video now first things first if you're going to be running this on google collab what i want you to do first is go on to runtime change the runtime to the best uh, hardware accelerator that you have so once you have set it to whatever the best uh gpu or cpu that you have you can click save and then you want to click on file and once you click on file save this copy into your drive so this way you're utilizing this code on your own drive and save whatever files that you want now it gives you a good step-by-step -step demonstration as to what you can do it gives you all the capabilities as well as where you need to input certain types of things now first things first we can see that for setup you need to install the different types of dependencies that are required for this application so you can click run on each and every one of them now in this case when you get to this step you need to provide your open ai api key now in this case if you're not going to be utilizing the open ai key you can just use llama 
and in this case you can skip the step and go forward now if you go a little bit later on into this input we can see that you can start by asking an interpreter to print hello world now in this case this is just something that you can chat with the ai bot but if you go down further, there's different types of examples that you can see. There's a math example in which they are utilizing open uh, interpreter to interact with the chat in your terminal. And this is an interactive chat that behaves exactly like ChatGPT, where it answers a math question. So we can see over here that they ask open AI interpreter to solve this equation and it's able to give you a response fairly shortly. It's also able to do examples with web browsing where you can open up uh, GPT-4 through this code interpreter and start it by asking different things to search throughout the web. Now, another example is resetting the chat and there's also other advanced examples which you can see. There's automation through YouTube links. Uh, you can create documents, edit different types of the files in a folder and so much more which is actually very very interesting so if you want to get a better idea i highly recommend that you check this out because you can see that there's lots of different types of examples on the google collab but to actually run it it's fairly easy you just have to click on the setup and put your api key if you're going to be utilizing gpt4 if not you can just go forward and utilize code llama and this way you can then click play and then another prompt will open up in which you can chat and input whatever prompt that you want the code interpreter to focus on and that's easy as that Lastly, I'm going to be focusing on the comparison to ChatGPT's code interpreter with the open interpreter. Now, you might be wondering, what's the reason to utilize this when you have ChatGPT's code interpreter? Firstly, the code interpreter with ChatGPT is a paid plan in which you need to have GPT-4, which is a monthly subscription, and you need to pay around $20 for that. Secondly, you do not have internet access with OpenAI's code interpreter. You're limited to a set of pre-installed packages and you have a maximum of 100 upload, which upload as in like 100 MB of upload space. And it requires a 120 second runtime limit. So this is why you would want to utilize Open Interpreter because it opens up so much more possibilities of utilizing this code interpreter to achieve many different things. Whereas you can have an internet access, you're not limited to a set of free installed packages, you can upload maximum amount of content and the state is cleared when the environment dies. So in this case, the state is not cleared, it's reserved and it has a history in which you can upload and work alongside with as it has a storage built in with this application in which it allows you to chat with previous projects or whatever that you had previously worked upon. So this is such an amazing way to utilize Open Interpreter with GPT-4 as well as other types of models. So I hope you enjoyed today's video guys and you got some sort of idea as to how you can run this on your own local computer as well as on the cloud. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you check out the Patreon page so you can get our exclusive private Discord. If you guys want to follow the Twitter page, definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends. And lastly, make sure you subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.